Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Events Together. My name's Al, and today I am bringing on a special guest who can talk about being ultralight. Now, myself, I try to be ultralight, but I still end up carrying a huge amount of weight. So it's better to turn to an expert who is a member of the ultralight community who can come on and talk about how to be ultralight. All right, bro, you want to come on? Are you ready? You ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. Look, cool. I'm ready to do this. Yeah. Can't, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, where do I look? Where do Al's asked me to come on and talk about being ultralight with you so that you don't carry too much weight. Well, he asked me to come up with 10 tips, but I'm only going to do eight tips because we shave two off to be ultralight in this list. The first key to being ultralight is to take all of the labels out of your clothing, all of the labels off of your gear, because everybody knows that the heaviest thing that you're carrying is all the labels that you've got. You won't find a single label on me anywhere. There isn't anything. I mean, don't worry about that. That's stitched in. Everywhere else, there's no labels on me because I'm being ultra light. Every label is just a fraction of an ounce, but add them together with all of the stuff you're carrying, which shouldn't be much because you're ultra light. All of that stuff adds up to extra grams, extra ounces. We don't want any of that. Take the labels out of your clothes. Who needs washing instructions anyway? I don't care. I don't wash my stuff. I just throw it in a river and then dry it again. Just take all of the unnecessary labels out of everything. My second tip for being ultralight is don't carry any loose change. Don't carry any money, just use a credit card. Even if you've got a phone, just put your credit card onto your phone so that you don't have to have anything. You just use your phone and then you've done away with all extra weight. Everybody knows that credit cards are extremely heavy. Banknotes are extremely heavy, but what weighs even more is loose change. When you use cash, the cashier might give you change and every single one of those metal coins is a little disc of burden. You don't want to be carrying any of that. Don't worry about places that only accept cash. Just don't frequent them. If you're ultra light, you shouldn't be buying anything anyway. The third way to be ultra light is to look at the gear you're carrying and seeing if it's essential. Now, now, most people will carry a sleeping bag or a sleeping quilt. They're big, they take up a lot of space in your pack. You don't want that weight and space burden. So what you need to do is look at another way to keep yourself warm. And the way that people keep warm in an emergency is to use an emergency blanket from a first aid kit. So considering using that, and if you're not as ultra light as me, where I don't need anything at all, I just use the heat that my body naturally radiates to keep warm, just try using a bivy sack. Anybody who can't use those things to keep themselves warm, they're just not even considered ultra light, bro. Now I've seen in some of Al's videos that he said his food was the heaviest thing he was carrying in his pack. Now the best way to reduce your pack weight is to look at the food you're carrying. You can save so much weight in your pack when you don't carry any food at all. Now all over North American hiking trails, you will see really shitty bear hangs. Bear hangs that are so bad that you could just reach up and grab someone's food bag. Look, if a bear can grab it, then I can grab it. And who knows the difference? When they come along in the morning, all they know is their food is gone. I don't have to carry my own food if the food's just hanging like a bauble from a Christmas tree. Now remember, a fed bear is a dead bear. Now if there's a really bad bear hanging, you see that food hanging just in reach, then that's fair game. If I'm stopping a bear getting it, then I'm actually saving bear's life. I'm doing more for the trail than they are. So all I do for food to save weight and be ultra light is I just take everybody else's food. Really shitty bear hangs are the way to keep yourself fed on trail. Also, here's another tip for you. If you're in a pinch and there aren't any shitty bear hangs around, just untie a good one. It doesn't matter. If they've left their food up there, it's pretty much them just saying anyone can have it because if you can untie it, you can have it. That's the rules. Now, I saw the other day that somebody left a really good ultralight comment in one of your videos. I just wanted to repeat that. I saw the other day somebody called Hope to Sunday who left a really good ultralight tip and that was to size down the shoes. Now you'll hear advice saying size up. But what you've got to remember is the bigger the size of the shoe, more weight you're carrying on your feet. You want to reduce that weight and your toes bend. So if your toes are like that, you've got extra room that you can bring your shoes in. Now you might say, oh, but what about my toes rubbing and my toenails coming off? And nah, nah, nah. Well, the good thing about that is if your toenails rub enough and they go black and they come off completely, then you don't need your nail clippers. You can just do away with your nail clippers and you've become even more ultralight. So that is a really great tip. Dude, I thought you were gonna give proper ultralight tips. No, hang on now, like, you're not the guy. Now hang on now, you're no, not the ultralight not, expert here. Good I am, that's no. why you brought me in. Like nobody, this doesn't make any sense. So before that viewer comment, I gave you four things that you can do to make yourself ultralight. But when you're as good as me and you excel to the upper levels of 
being an ultra light bro. But these are four things that I want to tell you that you can do to reach the highest level of being ultra light. So now my fifth tip for being ultralight is make sure you only hike at night. And the reason to only hike at night is because your shadow will slow you down. It will be causing drag. It's not aerodynamic. You want to be hiking at night so that you don't have to worry about that. If there's no light around, nobody will be able to see your shadow and it won't be dragging your feet back. Every ounce counts and even light weighs something. My sixth ultralight tip for you is don't even wear any clothes. Now I'm wearing clothes now because I'm not hiking, but if I was hiking, I'd be hiking in the buff, mate. Really, I would. Because firstly, if you're not wearing any clothes, then you don't have that extra weight to worry about. But the other thing to consider is that clothing causes drag. It's not as aerodynamic as skin. So you wanna make sure you're not wearing any clothes when you go hiking, especially when it's really, really windy because that wind is gonna be flapping all over the clothes. If you're wearing nothing at all, then that wind is just gonna go right around you. You're gonna be the most aerodynamic thing. That's why we're born naked because that's the most aerodynamic way to just come out. The seventh way to be ultra light is to photosynthesize all of your energy from the sun. This works especially great if you're using the last point of not wearing any clothes because then you're using the maximum surface area of your body to absorb all that delicious vitamin D. Look, if plants can get all of their energy from the sun, then I can. I'm not going to be beaten by a tree. And my eighth tip, the last one for you today, is that you don't need to carry water. You might have heard from people that you need to carry around two liters of water minimum with you to avoid dehydration. Nah, that's all rubbish, mate. All absolute rubbish. Especially if it's humid humid out. Nobody needs water if it's humid out. Use osmosis. Absorb that water through your skin. If you are truly ultralight, then you should be able to absorb everything through osmosis, all that humidity. If it's raining, that's even better because you're getting direct water land on your skin. And then if you're dehydrated enough, you can suck it through your skin and replenish yourself. All this rubbish about needing to drink water, it's just science fiction, mate. You don't need that. You need to be able to absorb all the water you need from the environment. I'm a man of nature. All I need is the natural environment to survive. You need to be ultralight, bro. So that's it. That's eight key things to being ultralight. So if you're looking for the way to be the most ultralight you can be, follow my eight tips. And also, bonus one here for you, if you can obtain it, only breathe helium because it will make you lighter, like a balloon. All right, bro, back to you. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. I thought I was actually bringing on an ultralight expert instead of brought on a madman. But if you've actually got some good ultralight tips, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing and share this video to anyone that you know that likes camping, hiking and adventure travel. And for now, that's it from me. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.